Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities Miniatures. Today we are going to pop open the Feast of Bones and see what kind of goodies are waiting inside in case yours hasn't arrived yet. Upon removing the lid, we are greeted to a wonderful, wonderful sight of piles and piles of unpainted plastic. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting super nostalgic looking at these ogre sprues. I haven't built ogres in a long time and they've been quite hard to get a hold of. So I'm quite happy to see that. So we have, this is all of their feet sprues. You have the bodies on one and the feet on the other. And another one, so that's six ogres, eight ogres. If you are not familiar with the ogres, they actually all share the same body. So despite them stating that you're going to get X amount of one type and X amount of another. It doesn't actually matter. What you're really going to want is this sprue right here. This is your sprue of lead belcher parts. So if you wanted to make four lead belchers, I think you can. It looks like it, or at least three. I thought it was four. No, nope, there's definitely four there. So you definitely can mix and match also. All of the heads are compatible. Your iron blaster parts right here. The heads on the iron blaster driver, rider, this dude right here, he does come with a couple of optional heads. They all work on the other bodies as well, so keep that in mind. You can really have a unique looking crew. Big pile of bases sighting. And this is the command sprue, in case you've never built any of the ogres before. Obviously with the standard right there. And let's see, we're starting to see some new things. So this right here, is the ogre tyrant sprue doesn't look like there's anything in the way of optional bits sadly but it does look a bit more complex than a traditional ogre here is our whoa our new ocr ociarch i don't know bone reaper hero who is supposedly only going to be available in this set for now not the most complex looking model we'll keep going we have our Morgast set of two models. We have the big double sprue there. And we have more Iron Blaster parts. And finally, this seems to be our Mortec Guard. As I'm seeing standards in little bodies. They look pretty simple to build. And then the ones I am most excited about, these are the big multi-armed and headed dudes whose names I can't remember, but we'll get to them and I'll do a separate video on those. Underneath all of that, you have a nice little divider. And, okay, this is for your Iron Blaster. Your Morgasts. And then a big, thick pile of reading material. Let's take a closer look at those. All right, so we have all of your, okay, War Scrolls. This is the Tyrant, okay. Necropolis Stalkers, that's the name. Gluttons. It seems like we could have probably fit this all on one card, but I guess they didn't. All right, our more guests. Looks okay. You have both sets. Your Mortec, Vok Mordian. That's it. The Lead Belchers, the Iron Blaster. Okay. You have your instruction manual. I'm curious to see if they have the alternate builds for some of these. Having built quite a few of them myself already, especially the ogres. I'm really curious what they have to show in that regard. Haven't built any post Age of Sigmar yet. Wasn't there an alternate mode for the scrap launcher? thought there was. It looks like they have most of that stuff on show there. Okay, we're still not done. Then you have the Feast of Bones booklet, which has a bunch of artwork in it. And having looked through the Battle Tome, a lot of this artwork is in there as well, which is kind of cheesy, but I guess, you know, they got to get you started somehow. What I was most hoping to see was some of the other groups or subunits, sublegions, whatever they're called for the OCR guys. 
does have it there War Scrolls included there, so if you need that. Now, this is kind of nice, and I wish that this would be something, and it seems to be more often happening in these big battle boxes, are it's got all of the tokens you need in order to actually play. What a nice idea. So that's all there. And finally, just in case you have no idea what you're doing, you do have core rules available how to play Age of Sigmar with, I want to say, didn't it have, yeah, there are a couple battle plans in here as well as in the Feast of Bones book itself. So that's what you get if you pick up one of these boxes. And as I said earlier, we are definitely going to do each of these models that are the new stuff when I have a chance. So hopefully you will stick around for those. That said, the High Lord Tamerlane with Obscurities and Miniatures, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye.